Oh, so you all think this is a man's tool, right? The tractor on the homestead, Mr. Hilder. Arr! Arr! <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, Starry, that would be me. I put on a really frilly shirt today so I could look all pretty. And I'm going to show you that a woman can do a job just as good as a man using a so-called man tool. Come along! This is for all you gals out there who think you can't have a homestead all by yourself and you need a Mr. Hilder. All you gotta do is put on a really frilly shirt and get to it. This is a quick 101 how to operate a tractor. And every tractor is different, but I'm going to walk you through this one. So, you know, you women at home, and maybe even men who, you know, never drove a tractor before, kind of get, get an idea of how easy it is. So, this is what we got here. This tractor has what's called a glow plug. So in order to start it, you have to engage the glow, glow plug. And the glow plug actually just kind of heats everything up and helps you, it helps you start it. Mr. Hilder could probably explain it a little bit better than me, but that's how I understand it. What you do is you turn your little key and you leave it turned so that it engages the gold, gold plug. And the gold plug, if you can see in the, on the little dashboard there, is going to turn orange. And you leave that on for about 30 seconds. In the wintertime, you might have to leave it on for a little bit longer. Now, while you're doing that, I'm going to set the camera down. She's there. Hi. Hello. <laughs> then, oh, here. That's the push button to start the tractor. And while the glow plug is engaged, you just push the button. See? start a tractor. That's pretty easy. Now, real quickly, this has a clutch and a stick shift. I'm very used to driving with a stick shift. Grew up driving with a stick shift. But for those of you who don't know, you have to push the clutch in and find your gear. Now we're going to start in first gear and then you let up on the brake and then we go. Just like that. And then you gotta watch where you're driving. Now the bucket, this little knob here controls the bucket. If I push it back, bucket goes up. If I push it forward, bucket goes down. And then there's a tilt. So you'll see when I get down where my rocks are, I can pick my rocks, put them in the bucket, tilt it back, and then when I come back up to the homestead, I can dump out my rocks. It's pretty cool. Got my partners here with me. Wherever I go, they go. Now this New Hollander tractor also has, this is the gas. And there's a gas pedal, that orange pedal is also on the floor. So you can use the floor pedal or this level lever. Speeded it up now! Woo! <laughs> I still have it in first. Now, I just kind of leave it in first when we're going slow like this down the hill. We've got some pretty steep terrain. So, if anything, I'll put it in second when things flatten out a little bit. If I want to put it in second, I engage. until you get in the tractor. So, you know, a lot of people who watch our YouTube videos 
and they'll make suggestions about what Mr. Hilder needs to do, and they'll say, oh, I, why, why did you go in the ditch, or why is it so hard to pull out? Because this is a dangerous piece of equipment at times in this terrain, and you make the wrong move, it's not as easy as you think to just get yourself out. This tractor also tips very easily. And that's that's the hard part. But women don't don't uh, feel intimidated and overwhelmed. Because as you can see, the operation itself is really a no-brainer. It, it really is. So let's go get some rock. in here and I have to turn around so I'm going to show you friends how I turn around but this can be very dangerous here got to be very careful so I'm going to come around forward here uh, go about right here put that brake on put it in reverse up like that now remember you have to watch the front and the back. Tricky, can be tricky. See, now there's that little tree there. So I'm gonna go forward. And it's tricky because, you know, I'm on a hill. See how you roll backwards? You gotta keep that foot on there. And I know I don't have to tell you people how to drive, but it really is. It feels a little bit different when you get up high like this on these tractors. You've got the bucket, and I'm going to go forward a little bit, and you're dealing with hills and uneven trade. You know, Mr. Hilder really makes it look easy, but boy, I tell you, when he was doing this, this, this driveway with all the rocks and the boulders and the holes, that was dangerous. And then this winter, holy moly. I give him a lot of credit. We really got to respect Mr. Hilder and all the work that he's done on the homestead. He does make it look really easy. See, now this is a big hole. And that back blade, see how that back blade catches? All right. So I had to turn around because I'm going to pick the rock up there and I don't want to turn around with my bucket full. Pretty fun though, isn't it? I can see how Mr. Hilder, he makes it out like this is work. Oh, oh. oh here's some good rock. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop right here. I'm doing too much talking. So when I park it, I actually keep it in reverse because on the steep terrain, I keep it in gear so it don't roll backwards. But isn't this fun so far?
wow, she's like a real professional now. Guess I won't be seeing the tractor anymore. Well, there we go, friends. That was a starry in her frilly top. Showing you it can be done. A man tool. Well, now it's really not a man tool. It is a unisex tool. But you know, I gotta hype it up a little bit, right? And unfortunately, we got a flat tire. Mr. Hilder. <laughs> no, 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 I gotta take care of this myself. It's all part of being independent on the homestead. It can be done. All right, friends, thanks for coming along. You see how cool that works, isn't it? Really easy, super simple. And, and just for inquiring minds, this is a New Holland 7308 tractor and we got it actually from a gentleman whose wife used it on their homestead and they had horses and she went all over the place too so there you go from one woman to another